ready for some rockabilly, country, blues, metal, rock thing. This is the vinyl countdown. So like I said, I'm going to start theming these shows, and it's going to be more topic-based after the first couple of episodes, but for the first two here that I'm doing, I want to focus on two bands that I absolutely needed to get vinyl records of when I started getting this collection. And the first one was one that first came to my mind where I was thinking, if I want music that I know that I'm going to be playing with a record player, what am I going to want to listen to first? And without hesitation, I went out and I bought two albums from Volbeat. Volbeat is one of those bands that, like, I'm amazed got so popular in the mainstream because of how weird their sound is. They are a band from Denmark who's kind of like a mix of country, blues, like old school Elvis, rockabilly music, and heavy metal. And they show their influences in pretty much everything that they do. I'm a huge fan of the band, so I wanted to get at least a couple of their albums on vinyl. Um, I will probably eventually get all of them, but... For right now, I have two of them, and that's what we're talking about. Starting with Rock the Rebel, Metal the Devil. Now, for both of these albums, I do not have a cover for them because I got special edition picture discs. I think looking from just the picture here, you can tell exactly why I wanted to get this on vinyl. I just love that picture of the record playing on a record player kind of a super meta way to go about buying this. Also on the other side there is a great Route 66 picture with the track listing. I think this is one of my favorite picture discs just because of how on the nose it is. As for the songs on Rock the Rebel, Metal the Devil, until they came out with Outlaw Gentlemen and Shady Ladies, this one has probably the most country influence for all their albums. Uh, songs like The Human Instrument which so starts off with this incredible slide guitar part and then goes into the actual song that sounds like pretty much every Volbeat song. Um, we've got uh, Devil of the Blue Cat song, we've got Radio Girl. Uh, they have a sequel to one of the songs on the first album called Soul Weeper, which I really love. I love Soul Weep Weeper Part 2. I'm not a huge fan of sequel songs, like when they use the same name, but they're just like, this is Part 2 or 3. I'm looking at you, Unforgiven. But the uh, Soul Weeper songs, I think, are always really good, uh, both of them. And then probably the most popular song from this is a song called Sad Man's Tongue, which is, I would say, the definitive Volbeat song. Like, if you needed to pick absolutely one where you needed to show somebody, like, what is this band all about, what do they have going for them, and what's the craziest song they have, I would say it's Sad Man's Tongue. Um, just a crazy ode to Johnny Cash and they say that every time that they play it live. When they play it live, they actually will start it by playing Ring of Fire. And then they'll go right in from that into Sad Man's Tongue flawlessly. And I just love the song. I love the whole album. I think that this is a fantastic release. Um, it's got a song called A Moment Forever, which I show to people who say that they're not a fan of the singer because it is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, and I'm just going to show you a clip here so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, people have a problem with Michael Paulson's voice, and this is the song where people just rage quit with it. I've had friends leave a car that I was going to be driving, because they were like, I'm not listening to this, this is dumb. And I'm like, you know what? I freaking love that song. So, this is uh, the first one that I got, and I was really happy because uh, I came back to the store that I bought this at about a week later, and they also had another picture disc from them for Guitar Gangsters. Guitar Gangsters and Cadillac Blood, another picture disc here. Uh, this is just kind of a silhouetted version of the album cover for Guitar Gangsters and Cadillac Blood. On the other side though, we've got the same style of artwork depicting the band itself, and I really love that picture that you got going on there. Uh, Volbeat's album titles are all really rockabilly influenced. Uh, Rock the Rebel Metal the Devil. This is Guitar Gangsters and Cadillac Blood. and. I really do love almost every track on this album. Uh, there's 
a lot of variation in the songs that they have here. Uh, they go from Guitar Gangsters to Cadillac Blood to one of my absolute favorite songs of all time, which is Mary Ann's Place. Uh, they have a guest singer, Pernil Rosenthal. I forget what band she's from, uh, a Danish band, but she uh, does female vocals mixed in with the sound that they've going, they're going with for this, and it sounds incredible. It's one of my absolute favorite songs. Um, this has some of the more recognizable Volbeat songs on it. Guitar Gangsters and Cadillac Blood is one of their most famous ones. Wild Rover of Hell. Uh, probably, uh, aside from Sad Man's Tongue, the one that a lot of people more know more casually, which is still counting, where the first line of the song is counting all the assholes in the room. I'm definitely not alone. It's one of my favorite song lyrics of all time. But there's like some underappreciated ones from here. A Broken Man in the Dawn, I don't think is heard that often. Uh, they do a cover of I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, which is the countryest that this album gets. This is more straightforward rock than the rest of the albums, and I think that's why I like it so much. It's because it kind of stays a little bit steadier. I do enjoy when they deviate from the norm and they show off their uh, unique blend, but I do like their songs that are more straightforward. Um, songs that like uh, Guitar Gangsters is definitely a very straightforward rock song. Uh, Maybelline e Hofte Halle, which I hope I'm pronouncing right, um, and songs like uh, Hallelujah Goat, which uh, is just steady, hard, all the way through. It's just good stuff. I really do love this band, and I guarantee you this is not the last release that I will get from these guys. I will probably get a copy of their most recent album, uh, Seal the Deal and Let's Boogie, and they've got another album coming out in August that has two songs that I cannot stop listening to just from the singles, Leviathan and uh, Last Day Under the Sun. And I think that if you want a great example of where they started and where they're going to be going, this new album that they're going to come out with sounds like it's going to be very different, very gospel influenced. But a good place to start, I would say, would be Guitar Gangsters and Cadillac Blood. And that is it for this week's final countdown. I will be back next week where I'm going to be talking about my favorite band from when I first started branching out into new versions of heavy metal. So we're going to talk about power metal, and we're going to talk about Sonata Arctica. But until then, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember, life's too short to listen to bad music. Music